<laughs> Plot thickens daily, doesn't it, Prophetic Seer? It's a sad day when when fishermen are concerned about their families and really the people they provide food for get blamed. For the for causing toxic seafood. Well, I beg to differ. I got fucking evidence that shows who's is that 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 now Co and BP are behind it. What better evidence than an internal memo released right from their damn company? The link to it will be included below. Product name Corex at 9,500. Nine Application all dispersant. Company identification Nalco Energy Services LP PO Box 87 Sugarland Texas 774870087. Right from the warning men from the warning label. Do not get in eyes on skin on closing. Do not take internally. Avoid breathing vapor. Use adequate ventilation. In case of contact with eyes, rinse immediately with plenty of water and seek medical advice. After contact with skin, wash immediately with plenty of soap and water. Wear suitable protective clothing. Primary exposure routes. Eyes and skin. Can cause chemical pneumonia if ingested. May irritate the respiratory tract if there is repeated or prolonged exposure. What do I have to to do? What? What? You know, it's there. The whole, the stinking company set, right there. What is wrong with it? The stuff that's in it. Propylene glycol. Oil mist. I'm not an expert on chemicals, but if there's a damn warning label that says you need to wear, you know, you know, safety goggles and, you know, you know, uh, safety equipment to keep you from being exposed to this shit, well then obviously you shouldn't be spraying it in it, in it over pe over people's houses. And over the damn beaches. It even says right there to use a mass filter. Wear eye protection. Wear skin protection. Oh, 
alone. Are people just going to sit there? Heck! It's ridiculous! It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And then, I have this memo from the United Kingdom, England, where they list oil dispersions that are, that can no longer be used here, used in their in their country. Among the list, car accident, nine hundred, nine hundred five hundred, nine thousand five hundred, both removed on the same date in nineteen ninety eight. Because they failed to pass the sea and beach toxicity tests. It's all there. Black and white, clear as crystal. BP and Narco are essentially reaching chemical warfare on the citizens of the United States. And they need to be stopped. Seriously, what else has to be shown? What else? You know, people are... People are like, ooh, BP's helping, BP's helping. No, they're not. If they were truly helping, be helping, then that damn little spell would have been stopped a long time ago. Heck, hell, they caused that damn disaster. They were the ones that fucked around and, and failed to properly inspect that oil rig. They were the ones that had faulty the safety measures in place and didn't replace them despite the despite numerous warnings from the inspectors. It is ridiculous. And here, people don't even pay attention. I got the evidence right there. And you better take a long, hard look at it. That shit was never meant to be used in such great volume. And secondly, it didn't make the oil go away, it just made it sink. It still, it just sunk below the surface so that no one could see it. The most damning evidence generally comes from the perpetrators themselves. And it's right there. That's the end of it.